Tokyo, Japan. Home to more than 12 million people. Like any great city today, it's jam-packed with concrete, glass, and steel. A painful sacrifice for a people who consider trees sacred. But if visionary architects have their way, all that will be replaced by this. A building that creates new green space indoors. It's called Sky City. And at two-thirds of a mile high, it would be by far the tallest building in the world. A high-voltage city that's suffocating from overcrowding. Tokyo has grown too large too quickly. 240 square miles of urban sprawl has created a commuting nightmare. Millions crowded to trains each day. Most Tokyo residents spend two to four hours every day traveling to and from work. That's 20 hours a week, a total of five years stolen from their lives. That's unproductive time. Instead of spending time creatively, people are wasting their lives commuting. Which is why Sky City envisions a new urban landscape. A city of the future carved out of thin air. But where can you put a building this large in one of the world's most crowded cities? With a footprint of 30 acres, Sky City would effectively condemn 120 Tokyo city blocks possibly erasing centuries of Japanese heritage. It attempts to anticipate the needs of tomorrow, today. But it's also among the biggest economic gambles ever. Not many would have the stomach to attempt such a drastic solution to the Tokyo land crunch. But here at the Mori Building Company in Tokyo, urban planners are determined to think big. They're waging a ferocious battle to remake their city. <laughs> 